so I'm, I have to redo my nails because it's more blingy because the glitter is is easier to come off in a big strip which can be good if it's time for it to come off so I'm right now just peeling these right off a big flake which also means that's less uh, polish remover that needs to be used. Shout out to all you cheating ass dudes who marry gullible chicks who like glitter. Man, y'all could go to the strip club and she would be none the wiser. Mr. and I joke about that a lot, but those dudes got an automatic out for the glitter. Bitches be like, uh-uh, where that glitter come from? Where is that glitter from? Uh, whose glittery ass you been up in? Your top coat and base coat really matter. Cause here we are back where we were before. We're back to being strangers. One minute and all out the door. Yeah. Mm. We used to moan between the verses. Yeah. I gave my all. I put a little liner on because I'm super, I'm super meditated. Then I would would wear in my own stretch like like i'm supposed to <coughs> i'm trying to cough to the side again <coughs> <coughs> because i hope not be careful ladies don't be accidentally inhaling glitter i hope that's not what's happening here and now you see why i'm one-handed gotta go wash the hand too because now i probably have product on top of the nail please don't inhale glitter ladies i'm going to talk about the clear coats the base and top coat well first let's talk let me walk you through this and then we'll spend some time specifically dedicated to that clear those clear coats so i wanted it to pop so i kept looking for darker purple maroons for a base but I was like, no, because <clears throat> I wanted to pop pop. So I was like, fuck it. I'm doing, I'm going all the way black. So I chose to use a black base. And boy, did it work. Boy, did it work. So pretty. So it's time for me to do the other hand. Now, I've already done the, um, I file everything evenly and um, done the base coat <clears throat> okay so I have the base coat on there now the thing with the base coat is you can allow it to dry like I have but I only did it because I had some other shit to do in between this but I recommend you do all your shit at the same all your shit at the same time so you don't feel obligated to adjust nothing if something should fuck up before something else but anyway but we also remember we also need to move quickly because you want the you want the polish just to, to still be wet when you apply your glitter <coughs> i hope i'm not inhaling glitter it's really minuscule which makes it more beautiful but don't be inhaling that shit. I feel like that stuff can collect in your lungs and be metallic. And you don't want no respiratory uh, smoke in, in, in this country right now or ever. Because that is definitely how they get you. Did y'all see what Mother Nature just did to me? The whole literal sun got clouded over. Girl, you know I'm trying to do a video. 
that one was kind of ugly and this one gonna be ugly too if i don't get it together some of these polishes take for granted that you're gonna you do a second coat why can't you be wonderful enough to only need your one coat i knew better than to try that shit sprinkle the glitter on girl just sprinkle the glitter on for some i have the sprinkler things but other ones i just have to use a spoon for these and dusting off the excess you can do a little tuck tap across the surface to make sure the glitter really adheres so every little piece of glitter that said no i'm gonna stay i'm gonna stay has the opportunity to stay and everybody that don't want to go this time can be collected after she claps. You're going to lose a little bit of glitter from here to top coat. That way I can throw it in the, mach the machine, the washing machine if need be. Oh, and my apologies in advance for all you insecure bitches that are married. In a loveless relationship where you can't where you can't trust and where you can't trust each other but you know sorry in advance if that glitter your husband come home with is from my husband who works with him and you you think he fucking around on you he not it's just that his co-worker's wife stay with the glitter it's me i did that not sorry for doing what I want to do, but I I apologize for triggering your insecurities. It wasn't deliberate. I'm not going to stop because, again, it ain't deliberate. And I, I just don't feel like I have control over, nor should I have to be um, put in a position to micromanage your feelings according to what I do that's not harming anybody. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you girl I guess aka um, grow up <laughs> grow up sis we ain't got time to be beefing over no bullshit like that no more get all you the good, good tough love sisters in your life you can right now you need it I started to say you gonna need it but you need it right now and to, yo, to those who think that, child, I am. I am. I'm just talking. But to those who know, you know. And you're going to be better equipped to protect yourself as a result. So good for you. I'm proud of you. And the other people, it's not that I'm not proud of them, but they just colonize. That's a hard that's a hard pill to swallow from birth. That's a prescription you've been taking since you've been brought to this uh, on, into this world. Your parents were colonized to colonize you for the colonizers before you even get to this world. You know? Don't make those of us who are cognizant of it better. It just makes us cognizant of it. And we be, just want you to know that you have an open-mindedness somewhere, if you so choose to do it too. But, you know, don't be mad at me because I don't go for the okie doke. And you do. And that make you feel some type of way. You know how you can fix all of that? And how you don't have to feel no type of way? Think with your co common sense open mind. Like, is clairvoyance clairvoyance? Because, right, because it's so rare. Everybody agrees that common sense is not common anymore, right? So if those, if the rare people who have common sense and exercise it, they're now considered just wise, super all-knowing, even though there are some people that are that level of, they have that level of wisdom trust me because i'm one of those people sometimes <laughs> i know girl right sometimes yeah sometimes 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 god it speaks through me she's always in me she is me she's a part of me but sometimes i just want to do idle 
human human idol minded bullshit because I'm still flesh and, and not only flesh I'm flesh that was born in America in, in black skin as a black person so yeah sometimes I want to bury my head in the sand for my own wellness the reality of what's really happening will drag your spirit it'll drag your spirit especially when you hit those corners that remind you shit of shit like the majority of humans are this way they chose it they chosen it now fuck you me you expect better out of them how sway how you expect better out of a society that values all the wrong shit by design by third party design by an by hu another human hopefully it's not human hopefully if you boil it all down to levels that we don't even have the capacity to touch hopefully the evil villain the hopefully the wizard of oz hopefully we peel it back and it's some other creature because right now humans are looking pretty trash in the moral values department and have been for quite some time generations generations i'd say well i just went off on quite the tangent i don't even know what i just talked about but it was pretty deep wasn't it I'll, I'll I'll remember in editing. <laughs> All I know is I was I was polishing my nails. So, oh, another little tidbit to confuse you further. So when you're doing your glitter, you know how you do your you paint your nails. You paint this hand and then paint that hand, right? With the glitter, so you put a generous layer of your top. Oh, god damn it! So you put a generous layer of your top coat on top of all of the glittered nails to adhere them to the to adhere, adhere the glitter to the nail and keep all that glitter uh, together so that when you wash the excess off the next time you shower or wash your hands and wash your excess glitter off all you'll have is your glitter nails left and you won't get glitter all over everything which you just can't go out in public and do these days because you know other females insecurity is one thing but when you might have to when your life could be at jeopardy because some bitch thinks that you want her man girl oh i'm glad i'm not i'm too old for that bullshit but y'all's a confident young lady's whole life is in jeopardy just because she's secure with herself I, oh, my bad. I didn't know I'm supposed to be scared to talk to your man because he's your man and he might want to fuck me. Like, pick pick your man better if that's that type of man. And if that's not type of that type of man, you might not want to lose him by accusing him of that fuck boy shit. Like, what's really good with you, sis? You want to talk? I have consultation services available. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to charge you. I'm going to charge you. Because you wanted them people that didn't want to hear me hear me when it was free. So maybe if you pay for that shit, you'll get you some sense. Anyway, yeah, if you can avoid it, you want to be unable to feel the glitter after you've applied your top coat. If you applied your top coat and you can feel the glitter still textured on top, put another top coat on there which is what I'm doing because I can still feel the glitter even after applying the top coat. But it does not need to be so thick that it's gummy. I'm going to pour some of this cheap. Y'all know me. I will mix some clears in a minute. I might fuck it up, but I haven't quite fucked one up yet. Although, you know, I'm true to this, but I am still new to this. So, <laughs> like y'all, I started doing this my own nails when I when we when Marshall kicked in oh matter of fact let me I'm probably gonna go back and edit all of that out because I don't want it said or even 
suggested that I recommend you mix things like that. As always, don't listen to me. I don't know anything, but I enjoy having you over here watch what I do. And I welcome any questions that you may want to ask, knowing that I don't know anything and that my answer is founded in absolutely no knowledge whatsoever in anything. But I'll let you know what I think with my empty-minded self.